Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. I'm going to read through most of the article here. There's a link in the description. It is a tragedy. I'll start off by giving you um, an overview to begin with. It's in regards to the woman that you see in front of you. I'm a little reluctant to call her a scumbag, but hell, let's do it anyway. She's a scumbag. Marie Ayala, and uh, she's 26 years of age. She's a mother of three children in Florida. She's been arrested and she's been charged with manslaughter. Um, where's the specific charge? Manslaughter by culpable negligence, as well as a couple of other charges, but mainly manslaughter by culpable negligence. And why is she being why is she being charged with manslaughter by culpable negligence? Well, because her husband in her family home, or, or rather the father of her children. Um, was shot and killed by one of her children, a two-year-old, a two-year-old. So uh, in essence, to give you the overview, to keep things nice and simple for you, in essence, uh, this woman and her partner, uh, the father of the children, are, are career criminals, they're felons. Uh, they were on probation. We can read through and do double check those details. But they were on probation, or certainly Marie Ayala was on probation. As such, they weren't allowed to have access to guns, I believe. However, they did have guns. And seemingly, allegedly, those guns, those firearms were unsecured. So, the partner, the father, whose name is Reggie Mabry, 26 years of age... He was playing video games on his computer and um, the two-year-old shot him in the back. He subsequently died. I believe he was taken into hospital, first of all. Yes, he was. And uh, he died shortly after arriving at hospital. This happened May the 26th in the morning. Uh, he died in the early afternoon. So in essence, that's what happened. The investigators, the detectives asked Marie Ayala uh, what happened, um, you know, where did this gun come from? And she said she was very vague. Um, she was naming various locations within the house as to where the firearms are typically kept. Basically, she was making things up, allegedly, uh, as she went along. And it became pretty apparent that the gun was unsecured. There was no safe location for the guns to be held further to that <clears throat> one of the five-year-old there were three children in the house and the five-year-old um told investigators that daddy got shot in the back and that uh his two-year-old sibling had shot daddy so in essence that is what has happened there were three children in the home at the time the five-year-old, the two-year-old, the six-month-old. And uh, in essence, they were on probation. At least one gun was kept unsecured in the home. And uh, the two-year-old had access to that gun, fired it, and shot the father. So that's a pretty thorough overview that I've given you just to polish things up a little bit um, both Marie Ayala and the victim the father Reggie Mabry both 26 years of age and to confirm uh, they were both on probation following convictions for charges of child neglect as well as possession of narcotics uh, so previously the pair of them had left their two older children home alone with narcotics in the residence so i stand by calling this woman a scumbag uh, she has a prior history as does the victim a prior history of possession of narcotics prior history of child neglect leaving her two children alone home alone with access to narcotics she's not learned her lesson she's also left her well they both didn't learn their lessons the victim is culpable in my view uh, the both of them uh, left their guns unsecured in their home and the worst possible thing happened uh, the worst possible thing that could happen happened you know what I'm going to retract that the worst possible thing was one of the uh, children killed either themselves or one of the other children 
Um, so this is the second worst thing that could have happened. So they weren't allowed to have firearms in the home, but they did. And as such, uh, she is facing one count of manslaughter by culpable negligence, one count of possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, and possession of ammunition by a convicted felon. Again, the uh, victim is equally to blame, you know. He died, frankly, due to his own negligence, the negligence of himself as well as the mother of his children. Um, so I don't feel too much sympathy for the, uh, for the victim in this case. The ones that I feel sorry, sorry for are the children. So you've got three children who have lost their father. Their father is dead. Their mother is going to be going to jail for quite some time. The three children will have to be placed either with their extended family or under the guardianship of the state. You know, perhaps they'll be traveling through the foster and the adoption system. So, we, you know, th their lives have been devastated. But frankly, they were on the wrong path in any case, given that both of their parents were felons and at the age of 26... Neither of them had made improvements to their lives by the look of it. So I feel sorry for the three children, five-year-old, two-year-old, six-month-old, but perhaps mostly the two-year-old. You know, the two-year-old, and we're not sure of their genders, um, but the two-year-old is, I don't know, some would say the two-year-old is, is responsible for having killed somebody, having killed their father. I don't view it that way. The two-year-old is not responsible. The two-year-old did what a two-year-old does, which is they play with things. He play, uh, The two-year-old, he or she, played with something. They wouldn't have understood what a gun is. They wouldn't have understand uh, understood how to use a gun. They wouldn't have understood um, the dangers of using a gun. They wouldn't have understood the concept of injuring, harming, killing another person the two-year-old was not responsible the two-year-old played two-year-olds are allowed to play yet despite that view that i've outlined which i'm quite sure is entirely reasonable and entirely rational i would imagine that uh, this will weigh heavily on the mind and the soul of this two-year-old you know, they're going to grow up in the knowledge that they pulled the trigger. They didn't understand what they were doing, but they did it. Um, so full full prayers to these three children, perhaps in particular the two-year-old. Um, she's a scumbag. The victim was a scumbag too. They put their the lives of their children in danger previously. They left the two elder children home alone with narcotics. And they've basically done the same again. They've um, uh, allowed the children access to unsecured weapons. I'm going to wrap things up here, guys. I will be making a few more videos throughout the day. If you think I've done a half-decent job, please do like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Um, thinking about doing live streams, if that's something that you would like, wouldn't like. Um, if you'd like to participate in, in any way, do leave a comment. Um, and uh, we'll try to move things forward on that in that regard. Uh, but I'll, I'll thank you for your time.